Welcome back to Sister Circle Live with an outlook not bound by limits. He has become the most accomplished USA Paralympic athlete in history. Check out this resume. Five-time Paralympian, 500 gold medals in swimming, 200 gold medals in fencing. He joins me now to chat about his story of triumph and share nuggets from his new book, just a little love and joy. Please welcome Curtis Lovejoy. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. How good. are you? I'm great. Glad good, to be here. good. We're so very happy to have you here today. So let's let's jump back. Of course, uh, becoming a world class athlete, you were a businessman, and the pool was the last place you wanted to be. What was your relationship with the pool back then? With water? No relationship. None at all. At all. Not at all. Yes. I was terrified of water. Mm -hmm. I've always went to the pool in the area, saw people swim, but I never got in the water because I was terrified. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So what was your envision before, with your life before the accident happened? What, would you, what did you see Curtis well, I, doing? Well, I actually wanted to be an NBA basketball player. Okay. That was my goal. That was your goal. And I uh, ended up working um, part-time for Church's Fried Chicken uh -huh. and excelled very high as a toward a district manager okay. in the city of Atlanta okay. and uh, took advantage of an opportunity. When I tried to play basketball, uh, went to Morris Brown College, they told me I was too short. Oh, no. I, I was like 5'1". Five, five oh, okay. You know? <laughs> and so it, it was always too short you couldn't play, but I had quickness. Mm -hmm. And the thing that they didn't know about me, if I ever get mad, I dominate the game. Yes, yes, you dominate the game. And that's what you've done with your life. Can you take us back to the day of the accident? And obviously that day changed the trajectory of your entire life. Probably the best thing that ever happened to me. Really? You know, I was on a, I was on a roller coaster ride. Um, arrogant SOV, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it. Um, ran the city of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. My way. Your way. And the way, and the way I ran it was just being... Um, Dog mad about how I want to accomplish what I want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Didn't matter I had to step on someone's toes to get where I, where I wanted to be. Right. And so during that long roller coaster ride, my world became bombarded with so much I've had done mm -hmm. and trying to orchestrate my stories yes. and get my lives together. Yeah. I ended up at, at Greenbrown Mall like mm -hmm. three days out of a week staring at the pool, wow. trying to figure out what my next move was. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wanted a way out. And I tried to get out, and I couldn't get out. Right. But on 11, 11 86, when I had the car accident, it was uh, a frightening moment in my life. Yes. Um, going out 166, headed toward Greenbrier Mall. Yeah. And it was raining that morning. A car emerged on the expressway in front of me. I jammed the brake. The car hijacked the plane, mm -hmm. slammed into the guardrail, and blinked out. Mm -hmm. And ran into a lake to Capone. Wow. And at that time, the paramedic was there. Mm -hmm. And they ended up putting me on a board. And, and transported me to Grady Memorial Hospital. Right. When I found out later on that uh, I couldn't move. You couldn't move. I tried to move. Yeah. And you, uh, they told you you were an incomplete quadriplegic. What exactly is that? Well, actually, I was uh, completed. Complete. I have to always uh, implement that in the, okay. when I'm talking because okay. what you see is a miracle. Right. Because I can bench press over 255 pounds. Oh, my God. Uh, I do treadmill, I do the elliptical. Mm -hmm. um, it's a miracle in God's making what he's done yes. in my life. So I asked him to come back into my life. Mm -hmm. And I said, whatever you want me to do, I'll do it. Right. And I made a deal with it. Mm -hmm. And from that point on, he started showing me great things along right. the way. And he showed you great things, and you envisioned the pool. Uh, so how did you even get in the pool? I know you were doing some therapy, but what was it that he downloaded and said, no, you need to, you need to compete I have something for you in competition. Well, actually, I was, had this session in the pool, and one day I was sitting on the, in the bench, on the bench in the pool, and all of a sudden, you know, I head went up under water, and I woke back up, and I said, I saw medals going around my neck. Medals going around your neck. And so I said, this is what you want me to do, God? Yes. And, and he didn't say anything. So about a couple of days after that, I thought about it, and I said, well, maybe I need to get a coach. Mm -hmm. Got a coach, start learning how to swim. Start learning how to swim. And now, and, and 500 then, medals later, you are the most decorated Paralympian ever. This is uh, not nothing I chose to do. Mm -hmm. God chose me to do it. He chose you to do it. And he get glory out of what I, I've done and accomplished. Even after Sydney, I thought that was the, the highlight of my moment. Right. But when I decided I want to quit, he told me, 
You better not quit. You better not quit. And now you are telling this entire story in your new book, Just a Little Love and Joy. Tell us about that. Well, it talks about the ups and downs going through life. It talks about uh, coming as a little kid growing up, uh, coming from a family of 11 years, uh, siblings, uh, mother and father, worked real hard. My mother and father picked cotton mm -hmm. back in the day. And uh, everything was kind of hard for me. Yeah. But being the baby of the family, I was able to see a lot of things, absorb a lot of things. So I set my goal and said, hey, this is what I want to be. I want to be right. better than my parents. Right, right. And I want them to be proud of me. Yeah. And so that's what I did. I, I, swimming came about. Mm -hmm. And fencing. Then the fencing came about. Yes. And then God told me, I will use you mightily. Yes. I'll transcend your name around the world. And you are being transcended around the world today and forever. Thank you so much for sharing your story. We appreciate you being here today. You can grab a copy of Curtis Lovejoy's book, Just a Little Love and Joy, wherever fine books are sold.